hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video so today we are going to be doing a poster for Kylian Mbappe as we all know he might likely be going to Real Madrid so I just thought to hop on the train and do something first up I had to search the web to get like an already edited uh, picture of Mbappe in a Madrid uniform like to save me some time here yeah. so I actually did get that and that's going to be the first image I bring in so. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the photo. Here it is. This is an already edited picture of Mbappe in this Madrid. So now I'm going to like select the, the subject which is Kylian. Okay, so I'm going to kind of keep the design really really simple here. Yeah? Waiting for it to load. Okay, now it's selected but it's not done it correctly like this kind of patches, so I'm going to come over here. No, yeah. Select this plus and uh, kind of include this one. Uh, just do some like fine touches. Okay, everything is fine. No, no. Everything is not fine. So I'm just kind of going to reduce the size like real, real small here and add this hair a little bit okay now so we can just go ahead and create our mask as you can see our mask here has been created this one is a little bit okay i move to ctrl c to turn on the transform yeah now i'll just reposition this image of kilian I don't like the quality of this image, so I'm definitely going to enhance it here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Maybe I should shift a little bit to the side, yeah. No, that'll be fine. So before doing that, I'd like to like just bring in some guides, some rulers, so that my left and my right margins are kind of the same. In this one here, then move this box over here bring in my next ruler and now i can just deselect okay now that's fine now over to clearance picture so i'm going to just come over here to like filter camera or filter now we are here i would like to like just uh, kind of the quality the day is not so clear actually it's a low resolution image so I'll just come over to my effects tab Add the texture to the fullest, add the clarity, then come over to detail and turn up this noise reduction. Turn it up. Voila. So I can come back here to my effects tab and kind of reduce the texture a little bit, reduce the clarity a little bit. Get that kind of just like nice subtle effect. So now I'm co coming over to color mixer. Let's go to saturation and just play with this reds, oranges. The oranges in the picture, yeah. The yellows, like I want to up them. And let's take OK. Now you see what we have, yeah. Okay. Now that we have this all set up, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my next picture of Kilian, which is this one. The one he was sliding, yeah. He's still in the PSG JC, but that's not an issue. I think I'll use it like that. Done. Now I actually have to <laughs> obscure this image. But before I do that, let me just quickly select my subject. Okay, so there we go. We actually got our Kilian. Okay, got him right here. So what I'm basically going to do is Control T my transform tools, scale this up. Okay. No, that's fine. But then this image has a really like poor uh, quality. So we are still going to upscale it to come over to filter camera. Oh, sorry. Just the wrong thing here. Yeah. Cancel. Filter. Camera raw filter. 
now we can obscure like effects first texture then all the way up clarity as well mm, now detail i'm going to sharpen this image more that's fine and noise reduction as well to give it like just make it small now my lighting i think i'm going to like increase the exposure okay yeah decrease the highlights decrease the shadows and then the brights and decrease some of the blacks okay now we see what we've got we've got something kind of different and and cool at least for now so we're just going to go ahead okay so now that that's done i'm going to have to do this like on my mask here i'm going to select my brush yeah and i'm kind of going to just like increase the size make sure it's set to black and brush over the bottom here oops now the opacity of my brush is too low i'll take it to 100 i can just do this okay so i'm going to like reduce the opacity again because i want it to like have that kind of fade you see voila now that's fine so what i'm going to do is i'll up the opacity of my brush again and wipe all of this off so we can have this Right now, I want to save myself some stress on this whole side shadows. And the new thing I saw is I'm going to like control J on this layer and I'm going to delete this mask. Okay, yeah. okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and rasterize the layer. Okay, now that's fine. I'll take this my selection tool right here and select the part that I want. Up a little bit. And should we no, like let me take it down a little bit? Kind of just shift my selection. Mm, it's too big how we do it, okay? So let's come again from here. I want it really thin, okay? Now this won't be better, so what I'm going to do is I'll simply just press Ctrl J on my keyboard and you can see, okay, fine. So I'll go ahead and delete this one that I duplicated and we have this right now. So we're going to go ahead to the next thing. Okay now, so what I'm going to do is I kind of want this to be somehow like a 3D, so edit, I'll come to edit, transform and distorts okay so i'm just kind of going to distort this young guy <laughs> sorry well i'll send it to the back i'll send it on that key and where it's supposed to be now I'll go back to my edits transform and distort okay um, i'll just arrange it such that let's zoom this in a little bit so we can see clear I want this shoot actually match the original one somehow or just hide behind it so the shadows are not like messed with. Okay, now let's see how that looks done. Now you can see what we have. Now that's not so I'm going to take this picture of Kia and it's all about adding effects. Control J to duplicate it, then this uh, copy, I'm going to simply just rasterize the layer, okay, convert it to smart object, send it below the original Killian here. Yeah. What we are going to do is we're going to come over to filter, blur, and choose motion blur. Like I want to give you this kind of motion, it's that sensation you get. But it's uh, not so cool. Okay, I'll 
take ok right now and i think i'm going to add a blur as well to it so take blur Gaussian blur and kind of reduce it a little bit okay now come back to my motion blur and just i just did a little yeah, it's sliding down so that it's gonna be fine i guess now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to control c and shift this to the side like that so you get that now i can go back to my motion blur and add the distance I guess as I add the distance, I just have to like shift it backwards a little bit. And overall, I think I'm going to take away this Gaussian blur. Yeah. Okay, this. Delete this my filter. And I leave just the motion blur. So let's adjust it. Okay, so now this looks more like it's the effect we are trying to create here. Yeah? So, okay. So now I'm going to add a hue and saturation over here. So I'll just come over here, put hue or saturation, and hold down Alt key and click just right here to mask it to this layer. No, to attach it to this layer. So select colorize and reduce the sat saturation to zero. And now you can see what we have here. So right now, go ahead and just grab the Real Madrid logo over here and grab the logo of real madrid real quick place it at the top left corner put it down a little bit there yeah okay okay so now it's time for me to bring in the background i'm going to go ahead and in my background and i found something like where is it okay this one it's really nice so i'll bring it in but i'm just going to I'll kind of change the color with my gradient maps done now i'm going to click here and add a gradient map to it come over here and kind of select my gradients i have this gradient I installed so i'm just going to keep selecting to see which one it's best okay what about this one so you just go and select yours and you see where you can where you like so what i've done is i actually just added another layer with my brush i use my brush and just brush to back here and what we're going to do next i'm going to bring in a texture so now i got this one okay just take place it's like a wall and bring it down here now what I'm going to do is hold down my Alt key, you see the cursor changes and I can click in between this layer separating them. Now you see what we have, but then I'm going to go ahead and add a few of saturation to this, clip it, colorize and just turn this thing off. Not all the way up to just about here okay so now i just brought in this text of kilian like i just kind of updated it i'm going to press on ctrl j so i get that exact same rotation and i type mbappe okay just take this this way and how's that Now that's the end of this tutorial, I hope you like it. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel.